have one more project to do. This. Hey, Jim. Hey, Chris. How you doing? Good. Look what I brought you. <laughs> that is just what I need. This little roaster's got some ignition issues. It's basically running out of spark in the mid to high end, and I was thinking of an HEI coil to take care of that, and then we'll kind of go from there. Would you like to help me out? Sure, we can take care of this. Oh man, put that stuff on the workbench and let's get started. Okay, sounds great. Oh, there's the issue, Chris. It's got the original equipment type of a coil in there. Right, and with this simple Excel upgrade, we'll have no problem getting more energy out of it. Yeah, and I think what we need to do is to get that coil replaced so we can get more spark energy but these, this little engine is healthy at higher RPMs, and we want to get that energy up higher in the RPM range, right? Right, and with the Excel coil starting at 3,600 RPM, you're going to see 56% more energy. That's a lot of energy, 56% more energy. And you know, a coil like that can produce not only high voltage, high energy, but it can move that energy up the RPM scale. And I want to show you how that works. These are the laminations called E-bar laminations inside of an HEI coil. And what I want you to look at is this air gap right here. By controlling the width of that air gap, we can control where the spark energy will occur up and down the RPM scale. And also by controlling this width, we can control uh, cold weather starting issues as well. So besides uh, manipulating the E-gap, having a great turn ratio, good insulation, this new HEI coil is going to solve the spark issue, and some uh, brand new plugs are going to help too. <laughs> And this is a little carbon brush, the insulator, and we will have to lube this insulator as we put the new coil in. And don't forget the ground strip. Yeah, just what I thought, Chris, that's really fouled. These new XL plugs are really great though, aren't they? Okay, the plug on the right is the plug we just took out of this T-bucket. And you can see that's really fouled out and needs replaced. The plug on the left is one of Excel's C-cut plugs. Now, if you look at the ground strap, the ground strap is actually cut to the center of the electrode, which gives it more spark going out into the cylinder. Well, Chris, we've got the new coil in, which takes care of our energy problem in the upper RPM range. We needed that. And, of course, the new plugs, which were fouled, we needed those to keep this idle better. I'm a little concerned, though, about getting this energy to the new plugs with these old wires. So, you know, what do you think? Well, Jim, when you called me about this T-bucket, I knew I had a set of headers on it, which creates a lot of heat around the spark plug. Yeah. And not only does Excel solve that with a ceramic booted wire, but it's also going to give us new wire to solve your energy issue. Ceramic? It's wow. a ceramic boot wire. Yeah, it's actually made out of ceramic and it handles up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is great. Let's get them on. Well, that takes care of that. Thanks for making those wire sets for us, Chris. That's going to help a lot. Well, Tim, thank you for the invite. I appreciate it. You're welcome here anytime. And I'm going to go take this for a little spin. See you next time.